Allow me to explain skills to you. Oh, sorry for being so sudden. Speaking of sudden, welcome to Maestro Plays Mother 3, Part 3. Anyway, you and all your party members have special skills you can use during battle. These skills might be centered around items, physical actions, or whatever else. Basically, it's different for each person. For details, press start to bring up the menu, and from there, you can check everyone's skills from the status screen. It'd be a real waste to neglect your special skills, so give it a try. Well, now to end this with a sparrow-like... chirp. Thanks, buddy. The cliff here has crumbled. Doesn't look like there's any way to get across. Hmm. Well, Duster, can you staple? Can I jump across that? Uh, uh. Oh, I thought that was gonna work. Staple here? Well, I don't know what to do then. Just go back? Maybe my pals got the obstacle out of the way at this point? Glad the thief arts proved useful, but our problem still hasn't been solved. Everyone seems so cold. I'm actually burning up, though. Ugh, so cold. I hope Hanama. Uh, uh, achoo! Doesn't catch cold, too. <laughs> Flint! We found the kids! It seems they fell into the river and washed up here. I'll look after Boney, you just hurry and see him. Come, Boney. Hanawa is a wonderful person, so I'm sure God will look out for her. Tessie's tending to the kids right now. Hurry and go see them. Flint, we found the children. We did it! We did it, Flint! With everyone working together, there's nothing we can't do. Oh, yeah, now you say that. Well, that's abuse. I'm sure Hanawa is taking shelter from the rain somewhere. The forest would never do anything to hurt the people of Tasmali Village. If everyone, anyone ever dares to hurt Hanawa, I'll kick their butts. Even if it's a pill bug or an ant. No mercy, basically. Quit it. Well... Oh, Flint! Duster! This way! This way! some in its tea, Flint. Please have some. It'll warm you up. Here, everyone else should take a break and get warm, too. I haven't found Tanawa yet, but for now you should warm yourself up by the fire. If a 
keep this up, you'll wind up worse off than her. Thank goodness they're okay. What a relief. Guess they still haven't found Hinawa. Where the heck could she be? I wonder what they'll get to eat when their mom gets back. I hope she comes back soon. I wonder where Klaus and Lucas fell into the river. In any case, I'm just glad they're okay. It seems they both fell into the river and got washed downstream. Poor little things. Dad. The children's clothes are being hung out to dry. Flint! Flint. I'm not sure what to say. But just stay calm and hear me out. I have good news, and I have bad news. Which do you want to hear first? No. Let me start with the good news first. I picked up a giant Drago Fang. It'll make for a great weapon. I figured you could probably use it. As for the bad news... The bad news is... It's where I found the Drago Fang. It was in your... It was pierced through your wife's heart. Flint. Just try to stay calm. I think the only reason Klaus and Lucas are safe and sound now is because Hinawa risked her life to protect them. Flint. Flint, I'm not sure what to say. Please try to pull yourself together. Flint! What are you doing? Klaus and Lucas are watching!
No one's ever been thrown into Tasmalee's jail before. You have the honor of being the first. Flint. You gave Ollie and Abbott a real walloping, but they're all right now. About Hinawa... I can only offer my deepest condolences. Still, why would a Drago attack someone? They're such friendly creatures. Take it easy in here for a while. I know you must be having a hard time with this, but try and get some sleep. The Drago Fang that was stuck in Hinawa's chest. I'll hold on to it for you. When you get out of here, come drop by my house and get it. Don't forget now. <gasps> well... This appears to have been unused for a long time. Do we stand and chill for a while, like in the hot springs? The lock is rusted. Oh, we do not. Uh. Well, I thought I was cool. Dad, it's me, Klaus. I told Lucas to come, too, but he's been crying at Mom's grave all this time. Dad, I'm gonna leave this apple here. The core might be hard, but... The core... The core might be har too hard to eat, but be sure you eat it. I'm gonna get stronger. I'm gonna get so strong, even Dragos won't stand a chance against me. Dad, I... Let's eat that apple. Inside the apple, there was a hand file. Metal file that's bound to break after one more usage. Alright. Let's do that. That tracks. Well... Should we chat with Lucas? Flint. I'm not really sure what to say. What happened to Hinawa was a terrible tragedy. I can't say I know how you're feeling. Hinawa's burial ended without incident. Lucas has been crying at her grave ever since. This poor little heart seems like it's about to break in two. If there's anything else I can do for you, just let me know anytime. Thanks, Duster. Yep, yep, yep. Well, what now? To the grave? I'll chat with people, sure. First. If you need something from the map loving and map owning maps, and it must be a map, yes? Hmm? That's not what you need? Oh, Klaus and Lucas? I believe they're at the Sunset Cemetery, north of the village. Alright, to the cemetery. What's up, girl? Mr. Flint! What's wrong? Why the long face? 
Come stop by our place. We're baking nut bread. Alright, if you insist. My mommy can make bread and cookies out of nuts you bring her. She can make a cookie with one, and she can make bread with three. It's really yummy stuff. Well, I've got a nut. Please cheer up, okay? I'm sure that's what Hanabo wants, too. Oh, hello, Flint. Are you already out and about again? Have you eaten? Uh, no. Thomas's Bazaar. We got the goods. Flint. I'm sorry I was so useless. Anyways, this is the Village Bazaar. If you need anything, just go ahead and take it. <laughs> Is there anything I need? What do you got? That's a running bomb. Use it if you find yourself in trouble. Will you take it? Sure. Whoops, can't hold any more stuff. What have I got going on here? I'm gonna ditch a few antidotes. I want that bomb. Right, yo. If anyone makes any more, I'll set them out here. Antidote. Use this poisonous snake or something bites you. I'm gonna leave that here. Oh, okay. Come back if you ever change your mind. We get those on a regular basis. This bread is for the people working here. They eat it whenever they're feeling hungry. What a concept. Uh... That sign doesn't say anything? This hasn't been used for whatever reason. Is it a mailbox? Hmm... Hey, buddy. That was a very nice grave old Nippolite made. But... But I had to come back home. Seeing Lucas's sobbing face was just too much for me to handle. Are you the guy that has the fang? I have a terrible memory with such stuff. Do you say anything new? Nope, 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 nope. Hmm. Yado. Flint, I'm sorry. I can't find the words to give you. I know this is very hard on you, but at the very least, please be a strong father in front of your children, okay? Frog on. I can Hello there. I wasn't the one who decided to place you in that jail cell. Really, it wasn't me. Well, what a relief to hear that. I definitely believe you. I understand how you must be feeling. But please don't lash out at those around you. Um, yeah, I'll keep that in mind. Ugh. So busy, so busy. Are you? Also, what is this place? Mayor's house? It has that vibe. Or is it a commune? I don't have any hard feelings for you. I'm very open-hearted, you see? Alright. Appreciate it, Ollie.
Hello. Flint. Um. Please just forget that you hit me. I'm, I'm gonna forget about it. Compared to your pain, this is nothing at all. That's very appreciated. Also, I love your plants everywhere. Flint. Um. Abbott and Ollie don't hold anything against you. So please don't be worried. Very appreciated. Oh. Uh, well, I guess we'll go to the cemetery. Is that to the left? Or is it up and left? Or it's just up. Flint. You really lost it during that wild outburst of yours. I know you had your reasons, but it's wrong to act out your aggressions than others. I like how different townsfolk have different perspectives of what went on with Flint reacting like that. If you're looking for the villagers, almost everyone is at the Sunset Cemetery. Everyone loved Nawa. Nut? Yes. We can forget happy things. We can probably forget sad things, too. People have the power to forget. Mr. Flint, this was such a terrible tragedy. Words fail me. I've humbly prepared a grave of the finest quality for you. Your wife's resting in it right now. But when the time comes, you'll be able to rest right beside her. It's a top-notch grave it is. Well, thanks. A good quality grave. This grave's restoration process appears to be gravely lacking. Uh, don't get me thinking about mortality again. I get existential dread like, whoa. A grand old grave. It seems Klaus was the first person at Hinawa's grave this morning. When I called out to him as he was leaving, he gave a tiny little smile, and then suddenly dashed off. That's odd. Grave. This appears to be a new type of grave. I leave the rest to you now. Grave of grave consequences. Nothing personal, but I'm not good at dealing with gloomy things like this. Even so... A great grade gray grave. A grave grave. This gravestone is unusually wobbly. Should I be dashing? Okay. True connoisseurs know that this is the ultimate shovel of the highest quality. Reserved. Flint. Hanawa was always so kind to my wife. I wish I could say more for you, but I've never been at such a loss for words. Oh, Flint. Hello, Mr. Flint. Did Klaus go off somewhere? I guess so. When is he coming back? Tomorrow? Hanawa dying. 
I just don't want to believe it. Flint. You and Tanawa. You two loved each other so much that even the little birds in the forest were jealous. And that'll never change, even after this. Sorry for my old man's drunkenness, Flint. My deepest condolences to you. If only we had started looking earlier. It feels like I only just introduced you to Hanawa too. I'm sorry to have to suffer you have to suffer such sadness. I wish I could pound fate with this 2x4. I don't know what to say to Lucas. Oh, Flint, I was just trying to remember what sunflowers symbolize. Because Hanawa really loved them. Where's Klaus? She was so cheerful and nice. She was even my mommy's best friend. Mr. Flint, please cheer up. I'm... Um, I'm sure Hanawa... I'm sure she's up in the sky now. Ah! Oh, long time no see. It's me. I haven't been to the village in a while, but I rushed straight here after I heard about Hanawa. Just after I had such a wonderful time with my grandkids. Sorry. Say, come to think of it, where's Klaus? Is he not with you? He said he was going to see you, but then never came back. Lucas, do you know where Klaus went? No. Lucas, it's not good to keep secrets from people. Don't tell me Klaus went after that detestable Drago to try to... N no! He didn't take Dad's homemade knife and go to the mountains to kill the Drago? Ah! It's a good thing you raised him to be honest, Flint. Does Klaus honestly think a homemade knife can kill a Drago? Lucas, why didn't you stop him? Well... I said I wanted to go too, but he said no because he was going alone. So you just let him go? You fool! Man, everyone's going through a lot today. Ugh. Tips hat. Maybe that was a little too harsh of me. Flint. Sounds like Klaus is headed to the mountains to kill the Draco that killed his mom. We're in a race against time, but this can't be any ordinary Draco we're dealing with here. We're gonna need the proper equipment first. Get a weapon to fight Dragos with, and then hurry to my place. Come get me at my house after you've gotten yourself a weapon. Do you remember where I live? If you don't, then have old maps and mark it on your map for you. I think he's in the town square. A bouquet of flowers offered to everyone's beloved Hanawa. Well... Let's see. Get a weapon, but uh, come to my place. Then I guess maybe... Is it Bromson that has it? Should I talk to everyone? No, they're the same stuff. Anything in here? Locked. Alex House? Here, I'll mark it on your map for you. Thank you. I will need that. There you go. 
our dog's house for you. Thank you. Was it here? Flint, just take this and go. It's the Drago Fang. I made it into a weapon. The only thing that can pierce through the tough hide of a Drago is a Drago's Fang. There's no other weapon that can beat a Drago. Got the Drago Fang. I realize this must be tough for you to accept, but you should take it. Well, let's get some stats. Oh. I guess it's just a key item? Or just a regular item. The relic of a horrible accident. Yes, it is. To Alex House. He lives so far away. Eat it! Eat it! Ugh. This is not good. I'm just gonna hope for the best here. Uh, please die. Or be tamed. I am not in good shape. Sheesh! Eat your good. I got a single nut. Yeah, I am just gonna... Alert! Flint is low on strength. Be careful. Well, yeah. Staying away from boars. What are you? I need you. I cannot deal with the boar. Such a boar. Go away. <gasps> I don't want to fight. No! Well... Argilla Pass. I know how you feel, but stay away. Um, do I not go here? There are ants at your feet. You might accidentally step on them, so please don't continue in that direction. That's adorable! Um, damn it. Get we're here vibes. Hmm. 
Not wasting food is a commendable thing. But that does make things a little harder for me. <laughs> Glad to hear we're not wasteful. Alec? What are we doing? Oh, you made it. Traveling through the forest has become quite dangerous indeed. What were those extremely bizarre flying mouse things with bump wings? There seems one bit me right on the head, too. I healed up perfectly, though. No, 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 no. None of that matters. I know where Klaus might have gone. According to my froggy intelligence, he's at my friend's house. Let's head there right now. Alec, joined your party. Flint. When I said froggy intelligence just now, you thought, what? Didn't you? Frogs work for my friend, as messengers. My friend is able to talk with frogs, lizards, and what have you. See that lizard there, for instance? We just need to go in the direction that it tells us. Uh, it's an arrow! Flint. You have doubts about this friend of mine, don't you? My friend, no, friends, are known as Megipsies. They've lived isolated away from civilization for a very, very long time. <laughs> Tip's hat. Well, I better find that frog. I think, um, this is getting pretty lengthy for an episode, actually. I did, I just kind of started blind and thought I would end after the first chapter, but I think that's simply too long, unfortunately. So, when we come back, um, my father-in-law and I will be heading off to find our Klaus. Thank you very much for watching. We'll continue this later.